Welcome back everyone. On today's video, we're gonna take resin blanks and turn them into little beads on the mini lathe using the multi-form system and the super long VersaGroove tool. Let's check it out. So let's sketch out our machining strategy. I always like to look at my turned parts as a profile in the ZX plane, with X being the radius of the part at a given Z coordinate. This makes life super easy when writing G code. The resin material is square, and when spinning, we'll sweep out a one inch diameter circle, so that gives us an X max of a half an inch. So here's our safe X, we'll put that at 0.6 inches. Now we're just going to take a zero cut, and then a few Z passes to knock the square edges off and get us nice and round. Then we're going to use a few piecewise linear approximation cuts, and this is to remove any bulky material areas in the X direction prior to our counterclockwise arc. Alright, time to write the G-code. This screen is really fun. It's the full Raspberry Pi desktop. You can see the Beryllium software, the G-code, and even my Voco screen recorder. We're just coding these toolpaths using G1 moves and one final G3 counterclockwise arc. That's all there is to it. So our first machine test is just the spherical shape without a bead hole, and it went exceptionally well. Look at that from a mini lathe. Now let's get started making the beads on our Microlux 7x16 lathe. We're tooled up with a four jaw headstock chuck, a keyless tailstock chuck with a 150 thou split point cobalt drill bit, and our multiform system. I've removed the manual tool post so the camera can get a better shot of the action. Let's get going. the part. Finished part. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, it looks like we didn't drill that one through the whole way. Guess we'll have to go a little further next time. Do our little manual chamfer. Oh yeah. <clears throat> That's a real beauty right there. We're gonna part this one manually. Just to demonstrate the parting on the multi-form system. So let's just click on X, MPGs on 10 thou, and we're just gonna jog our way through it. There we go. I'd normally prefer to do that with some mist coolant, but I haven't set that up yet on this mini lathe. There's the piece we cut off. Not bad. Okay, back to business. Scoot our tool out of the way. Let's drill that hole. If 
flip our direction. Start spinning again. All right, cycle start. That one looks really cool. Look at that. That one's real cool. Forgot to do the little hand chamfer on the bead. Do that right now. And there you go. Nice little hand chamfered bead hole on there. Look at that shimmer. Look at that one, it's pretty cool. So there's our finished beads, all unique looking from their crazy resin blocks. This is made possible, of course, by the one-of-a-kind R&D length VersaGroove tool. That's all I've got for you today. We'll catch you next time.